rock your notebook and I've got some new goodies to show you here so I have these two I'm gonna start with these um, because these are gonna be staples in the shop and these two let's flip it the right way are from mixed media pieces of artwork that I did and then scanned at a very high resolution scan and then turned into notebook covers at the request of um, some of the amazing people in my Facebook group. Uh, this was a huge leap of faith slash courage for me to do this. Um, I never imagined in, you know, a thousand years that anybody would want this type of thing as a notebook cover. Um, I love creating mixed media art. It is one of my true, true passions and something that I do quite often. And um, I'm ecstatic that people are buying them. So with that being said, I have courage and then I have this one that is supposed to be about faith. And I'm just going to do this. And I can do this because my notebooks are hand stitched and um, they'll lay uh, like this. So this one, as you can see, features a lot of pinks and some florals, and it says, never lose an opportunity of seeing anything beautiful, for beauty is God's handwriting. And then it has the two beautiful African-American women on the front. Um, these images came from Calico Collage. Um, and then I have this one, which is Courage, and it says, today I choose happiness. And here's the courage. It's got some flowers, some birdies, some doilies, some all kinds of stuff. I really um, still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the original art, uh, but I haven't yet. And again, you're going to have to excuse my desk. I try and clean up before I do all of these, but I have very limited workspace. And one of these days I'll show you, but everything I do is in one room and that one room is my bedroom <laughs> we live in a very small place so I am a one-woman show working out of her bedroom right now um, hopefully I won't be like that forever but um, that's where it is <laughs> so here is a junk journal made from a Daphne's diary magazine um, I love these these always turn out so beautifully and I really need to try and do more of them um, I have some of the English Rose limited edition paper that has currently sold out in the shop in this notebook. Um, I really put a lot of thought into these and um, I really love making them. Um, they're just, look, I mean, look how cute that is. So I'm just doing a quick flip through so you can see all of the pages in this junk journal. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's it. <laughs> uh, this is actually a pocket here. Um, this I cut. This I love. I mean, this is really going to be super hard for me to go ahead and let go of, especially because of this page. Like, I probably should have just kept this page for myself. Um, usually the junk journals sell pretty quickly. Uh, did I turn this into a pocket? I did. This is a pocket. Um, the junk journals sell fairly quickly in the shop, like within hours. So if you see one of the junk journals that I'm showing you right now in this video, I highly suggest going and grabbing it. Um, especially the Daphne Diary ones. They go super, 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 super quick. <sighs> um, I think every single page in here just makes me so happy, especially all the blue in this page. And we are nearing to the end. And that is the end of that junk journal. Then this is the English Rose. And I just kind of wanted to show you how beautiful this paper is. It's a 24 pound paper. It handles fountain pens. Uh, the only pen I didn't test was this one. So let's see. Yeah, that did fairly well. I have to admit, this pen, um, the envelope writing pen, usually will go through just about any single piece of paper I have. So it went it went fairly well through here. Um, yeah, I love this paper. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. It. I will try and see if I can find some more of it. 
but the cover is also a 100% cotton, 118 pound cover. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then here's the other two junk journals. These were made with the One Fine Day Kit, and I did these specifically to show you, if you watched my video earlier this month, uh, showing the One Fine Day Kit from Calico Collage, then you will see all of the papers that came in it. But what I did was I have done a flip through, I have done a mixed media art thing with them, and then I made two Traveler's Notebook Junk Journals. These are both both in Kai Ear or standard wide size. Uh, the Daphne's Junk Journal is actually in standard size. Um, but I wanted to show you how much you could do with one kit printed once. So I printed the kit only once. I used elements for my mixed media and then I made two junk journals slash traveler's notebooks and I'm gonna do a flip through of these here for you so you can see them you know I always do um, little tuck spots right re-rise by lifting others I love that I, I really love that um, I probably need to print that and just <laughs> cut that piece out uh, Tippins, I love, love, love these tags that were included in this kit. Um, the kit is one fine day. This little pocket here. Again, these are both featuring the rose paper um, that is sold out here. Look at this middle. Is that not beautiful? I mean, who doesn't love roses? This, uh, I love these. And I really need to go through her shop and like find all of the library pockets and just buy them all because I love them. I have a thing for library pockets. Um, the only extra bits and pieces that I added uh, were pieces of washi tape. Um, and again, I leave these fairly plain just so that you can add your own touch to them. I mean, who wants a notebook that you can't fill with your own thoughts, you know? So that's why I intentionally leave a lot of spots uh, empty in these so that you can do that. You know, you can journal, you can add photos, you can use it for morning pages. If you do that or night pages, stop and smell the flowers. That's a tuck, tuck space spot. Um, that's why I do what I do with these uh, journals. And then the back. As always, they are printed on high quality Nina cardstock. Um, here's a tip in. So in case you're wondering, what is a tip in? This is a tip in. It's literally a piece of paper adhered to another piece of paper with some washi on either side. That's it. That's a tip in. <laughs> um, Look at the vibrancy. I mean, I don't know if the video is picking it up, but there's some huge vibrant colors going on in here. And uh, disclosure, my mini me, another pocket, helped me um, put these ones together. So that was a joy. So if you purchase one of these, you're getting a piece of me and a piece of her <laughs> with you. Um, it was really fun to work with her and get her thoughts and ideas as um, I put these together. I love the inside page of this. Um, and I love, love, love these birdies. I'm not even a birdie person. Who's a birdie person? <laughs> I'm not, I'm a kitty, kitty person, but these birds in this kit are just beautiful, 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 beautiful birds. And another tip in. And I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's just uplifting and happy and bright and fun. And I mean, they're just, these are perfect, like I said, for journaling, morning pages, just jotting down notes. Um, this one is another tuck spot, tucking in photos, memory keeping, plan. You could even plan in here. Why not? I leave enough empty space that you could literally 
you know, write out your daily to-do list or whatever. You could definitely plan in these. And then you'd have something really pretty. So these are all the new items that are in the shop except for the English rose. I'm going to see what I can do about finding some more paper. Um, if you're not on the email list, get on the email list and then you will know when that English rose becomes available, if it becomes available. Again, um, these are staple. The these two are staple items they will always be in the shop these three are junk journals and I expect them to go fairly quickly I have two Kairs or standard wise and a standard all right that's it for me thank you so much for your support um, I really really appreciate it bye